well, I've had enough of this then. I don't know how much more I can take of this. It's like, do you know what the worst thing is? I can stand here and just coat us off for like the next however many minutes. But then for some reason we'll fucking go to Aston Villa on Monday and then nick a point. Like, but we can't do this. It's not about just getting like the last minute goals here and there. Like today was just shocking. Like we play worse when like they, when someone gets sent off from the other team. Like, we play worse when they've got 10 men. Brentford, they look so comfortable today. Like, to me, they didn't even get out of second gear. What, every time we was going forward, we'd stop, hesitate, and go back yeah. again. We would, there was no, like, no urgency, drive backs, yeah. No pace, no, they weren't, no ideas. They weren't, like, bang on. And Jed, for me, he's my favorite player at Millwall. He, but today, I've, I've, and this is the first time I've ever said it, he was shot to bits, he was terrible. He was, he was everything he'd done, he was just making mistakes constantly. And I thought and Romeo as well, Leonard and Elliot, don't even get me started on them. I mean, I mean, last week, I heard he played like well at Bramwell Lane. So what if he did? You've got to be consistent, mate. Like, he come on, and for a geezer that, he, that, that tall, he weren't even fucking winning anything, Dan. They, they, it was, it, the game had an end-of-season feel to it, which is fine if you're Brentford and you're 15th in the table. But if you're fighting for your lives, fighting for contracts as players... They just didn't seem interested. It's we didn't look like that team that was fighting for no, a league position. If anything, be. it looked like Brentford. They had 10 men and they were fucking smashing it, passing it around the park. Like, with those, like I said, there was no energy, no like fire about us. Like I feel like when Thompson went off and we went 4-4-2 again... Would you have done that? Would you have gone 4-4-2? Because I think nah, that was a massive nah, mistake. Nah, so did I, because I think, to be honest, taking Thompson out of the team anyway, taking out a bit of like that forward... Because out of anyone in the team, for me, like apart from Jed today, it was, it was it was terrible. Ben Thompson's the only one in the team who's got a bit of forward mentality about him, the one who likes to get forward. Leonard and Tunnicliffe, they're just standing there passing it to the side. I just don't get it. Every time we was getting in the final third down, it was so frustrating. There was we was creating the chances and then we'd stop, but Romeo would, would top and pull it back and then it would start all over again. And it, it, we just got it all wrong today. Uh, what do you think? Um they had a player sent off, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm, just, I'm so fucked off I don't even want to be standing oh, here. <laughs> just remain professional. So they get a player sent off, then Ben Thompson goes off injured. For me, we was getting in behind, and like you say, Thompson was getting beyond them. Yeah. Why not go like for like? The second you go 4-4-2, everyone in the stadium was on their hands, you know, clapping their hands. This is great, they've gone to 10 men. And I, I did it too, but then when I, when I took a second to think, I thought... I said to my mate, it's going to be one long fucking frustrating afternoon now, especially when it went to 4 4 2. Massively got it wrong. Because all teams do is they, they sit back and we, we can't break them down. You saw it for, you saw it three times a season, Dan, right? I can't remember the other team you got today. And when we played Swansea at home, like at the beginning of the season, we had, we had the. Uh, like they got a man saying off. We was even winning. We was winning 1-0 and then they won 2-1. There was something about us, like we lose our shape. We lose everything about us. Why not keep, like you said, like for like, why don't we just keep What it shape? is, we've got a severe lack of creativeness and ideas going forward and our final ball is shit. So when teams go down to 10 men and they sit, I'll get on to that, it's exactly, exactly right. But when they see it, we can't break them down because we haven't got the ideas and we haven't got the quality in the final third. What Sean Williams had to do to get on that pitch, though, I don't know. For the people who keep telling me Leonard and, and, and Tunnicliffe, I saw Leonard and Tunnicliffe kick the ball off the pitch five times in a row each. Sean Williams, it, they, they are two similar players. They're both shit, they don't do enough, and, uh, and, and no, for centre midfielders. At least Williams is a different type of player. When they're down to 10 men, he can unlock defences, yeah, different exactly. range of passes. He's got that pass that last year he showed, not so much this season, but he has got that killer instinct. He's got that through ball like today. I think it was actually Jed who played the uh, through ball to Ben Thompson. They got the sending off, but it's things like that. Like, to me, Williams offers more on his little finger than fucking uh, Leonard does. And Leonard's our record signing, mate. The curse Leonard, of the record signing. Mate, he's our record signing, mate. Tunnicliffe, right? He's just like, I, 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 as far as I'm concerned, like with him, he's like, hey, he's, just, he's, he's inconsistent as well. Like, he, he went for a little good patch for me, but now, like, they don't do enough. Realistically, they don't do enough no. for me. And I don't know what we've got to do to stop because. Games like this today is where you look at it as a manager, you say to the players, like, half time, oh, if I was near us, I would have put a fucking rocket up their arse. I would have gone, listen, like all the other teams, because I guarantee you, right, Rotherham, the jammy bastards, right, they'll win today, mate. They always do it. And I've just, every, but it seems like every time I go, we're going to go down. We, we get a little result or like we nick a draw. We never seem to turn that corner, do we? Never no, seem to no, turn that corner. No, but 
like yeah, but it's been like that all this season. I remember when we get a win, we're like, right, we can build on this now. We've never really had that. We ain't really had one bit of form all season. No, we haven't. And you know, we we need we need to start putting in these performances, Dan, because with performances like today, we ain't gonna stay up. Reading fucking fighting for their lives. They got a point Bristol City today. You got Rotherham, they're Rotherham fighting that. Results. That's what I'm saying. Wigan, like they're doing decent. Now they got a draw at Norwich last week, and then there's us. We ain't doing enough, Dan. Right and. At this moment in time, if you were to ask me, do you think we'll stay up? My honest answer is no. I don't think we will.